workers from Spain to Greece. He says unions have become trapped by their hard-earned successes. Because of the rather good welfare states in many of the countries, you've got a kind of automatic stabilizer. If you fall out of work, you do get a reasonable income, you do get your health care paid, you do get benefits and so on. With perks like that, unions are reluctant to go after management. Eva Granados is a spokeswoman for one of Spain's biggest labor unions called the UGT. Granados says unions face an even bigger obstacle fighting rising unemployment. The enemy, she says, is no longer your boss down the hall. It's an entire economic system. Contra quién haces, no? Contra quién luchas cuando hay una situación de crisis global? Who do you protest against, she asks. Who do you fight against when the crisis is global? We're still not planning any general strikes in this crisis because it's unclear who is benefit. Even many companies are in trouble and for many different reasons. Granado says in this crisis, workers and companies alike are suffering. The next likely target of union wrath would be politicians. But so far, they've gone largely unscathed because lately they've been doing what unions want, says John Monks, backing public works programs designed to employ millions of laborers.